Hayes and his shipmates, Jim Lovell and Jack Swigert, realize the situation is far more grave. They spot precious oxygen pouring from their ship. The astronauts don't just need oxygen to breathe. They use it in fuel cells to power their spacecraft. Without it, their ship is dead. Engineers face a stark choice. The thing that, that I wanted to do ASAP was fire that damn engine. If we had been able to do that, we could have turned around and had him landed in about 15 hours. But flight director Eugene Krantz can't bring himself to try it. The problem occurred back in the area of the big engine. I just did not trust it. I had a gut feeling that don't use it. Krantz opts to keep the astronauts headed further into space, all the way to the moon. If it works, the moon's gravity will capture the ship and slingshot it back toward home. As billions around the world follow their ordeal, Lovell, Swigert, and Hayes abandon their dying mothership. They seek refuge in the delicate lunar module, using its small engine to keep themselves on course.